gonna now look at uh, the Gamboa area, uh, the town and surrounding area. Um, Gamboa geographically is located on the Atlantic side of uh, Panama. However, uh, I say that because it's uh, north of the Continental Divide and it also is within the uh, uh, province of Cologne. And uh, even though it is located on the Atlantic side, it always has been considered and looked at as a uh, Pacific side. And that's primarily because of uh, access. Uh, it's very difficult to get from uh, Gamboa to the Atlantic side in that uh, there's a dense jungle and uh, Gatun Lake way in between it. Uh, there is road access and so forth to the Pacific side. Um, the town was built near the site of uh, the former village of Santa Cruz in uh, 1911. Uh, and that was during the canal construction. And um, during construction, uh, there were a number of camps and uh, locations that sprung up near uh, in that vicinity, both on the east side of uh, the, you know, the canal they were building, uh, such as Gamboa, and on the west side, there were a number of places that uh, also were built. Um, in 1936, the Panama Canal Company moved uh, the dredging di division from the town of Parizo to Gamboa. And um, part of the reason is that after construction, um, was completed, the number of people residing in Gamboa dropped dramatically. And uh, they didn't want to, they felt it was worth using the town and the facilities that were there. So uh, one way they did that was to uh, uh, move the dredging division and it actually was uh, more centrally located that way. Uh, U.S. military personnel and uh, dependents lived in Gamboa during the 40s, 40s 1940s, uh, due to the shortage of housing on local military bases. Uh, over time, um, as the Panama Canal Zone government began to transfer operations to Panama um, in line with the 1977 Panama Canal treaties, some of the services offered in Gamboa were shut down. Uh, the most visible of those closures were, were the commissary and movie theater, which were boarded up throughout most of the 1980s. Uh, U.S. personnel continued living in Gamboa until the total withdrawal of U.S. troops from Panama in 1999. First location in the area is uh, another TTC facility. It's called the uh, Gamboa TTC Test Facility. Uh, it's located in Dense Jungle. And um, it was added due to the, you know, finding it on the TTC map. Uh, access is an unknown at this point because uh, the, there are no major roads or anything out here. There was one um, road and that was Pipeline Road that uh, started down here near Gamboa and ran up to the jungle and over to Gatun Lake. So it's possible they somehow had uh, access off of the Pipeline Road, but uh, unsure of that. If we look at attachments, you can see uh, this is the location we're talking about on the low resolution 1969 view. And this is the location on the TTC map. Our next location is Pipeline Road. 
And um, I have pinned it here. It's, um, it's near the beginning of the road. The road runs, as I said, from uh, uh, the town of Gambella. And it's about 17.5 kilometers long. It runs to the shore of Gatun Lake. And uh, this was reported by Alan King and Martin House. And Alan King made the comment that, well, it's a trail along the Naval Pipeline. And in fact, uh, Pipeline Road was constructed during World War II by the Navy. And it's named that way because it parallels a section of the uh, pipeline that runs from um, Arahan Tank Farm on the Pacific side, the Gatun Tank Farm on the Atlantic side. Uh, at this point in time, only part of it is accessible by uh, vehicle and the rest of it you have to do by foot. And it runs um, uh, up and down hills and sharp corners and, and so forth. And it, it's all dense jungle the entire way. And now um, it's a very popular spot for bird watchers. They, they will come in and uh, stay in the vicinity. There is a, uh, I guess they, they call an eco lodge or whatever in the, in the Gamboa area. Um, the Panama Range study states that uh, Agent Orange was used over here um, in this uh, Sovereignty National Park. So if we take a look at the attachments here on our 1969 low resolution view, we're right over here. And this is at the beginning and it, it's hard to see, but you can faintly see part of Pipeline Road running here. And this is a canal zone map fragment and Pipeline Road starts over here and, and runs and the pinpoint is about in here. And of course, it continues off the map. Uh, another interesting thing on this particular map is that you can see the, the Naval Pipeline. Uh, it's coming here from the west side, crosses underneath the, uh, the canal itself and runs up here off of this map and underneath Gatun Lake in order to get to the Gatun Tank Farm. And this is a, uh, a map from 1974 of Pipeline Road. And as I said, it starts down here in Gamboa and comes up here and this is all jungle. And you can see even at that point in time how it curves around and goes up and down hills, comes over here to Gatun Lake and ends. And it's at that point that the pipeline was uh, put under Gatun Lake. They dredged out a trench and ran that pipeline across there. And this is a photo from uh, 1974 of Pipeline Road. And both this photo and the, uh, the map were uh, done by Robert S. Ridgely in October of 1974. Now, I mentioned the uh, Agent Orange had been used over here, and that was in the Panama Range study. So if we look at the range study, uh, this is actually an email about it. And they have a section in there, and it's entitled Other Interesting Aspects of the Range Study. And uh, you know, they talk about uh, uh, chemical and biological uh, agents that were used in other areas. 
In a, and let's say, in addition, Agent Orange was reportedly used by the Army near Gatun Lake in, in what is now Panama Sovereignty Park. And, you know, they point out that the study, which was for unexploded ordnance, UXO, was uh, not, you know, it was not within their scope to look at these things, but they uncovered enough information that uh, it's prop further investigation is probably warranted. Okay, the next place, let me back it up here so you can see the entire thing. Uh, I'm talking about this loop, I have it pinned over here. And this is actually within what used to be a former army uh, reservation and it was called uh, uh, Cerro Palado. And this is the ammunition depot. And uh, it was uh, set up in September of 1938. And later on, the army uh, leased this, uh, the uh, ammo depot to the Panama Canal Commission for, uh, for their use. And uh, that was possibly I don't know, in, in conjunction with uh, the dredging division, which was, you know, transferred here from uh, Parisio. Um, and it uh, appears to still be used and possibly by the new commission running the canal. And I'm zooming in because Access may be a problem because it does look like it is, it is gated. Taking a look at attachments, you can see the loop of the ammo depot here. In the 1969 low resolution view. On our uh, CC map fragment, you can see the loop, which is the ammo depot, and you can see they've also marked off the, uh, the military reservation. And the date is unknown of this photo, but it was uh, taken by the uh, uh, Director of Engineering and Housing. And this is one of the ammo bunkers on, uh, that's found in the depot. Next uh, is the Gamboa Bridge area. And uh, this was reported by Andy Scheffler. And um, you can see the bridge here. Uh, this is the town of uh, Gamboa over here. And uh, the original truss bridge was uh, built uh, over the Chagres River and it dates from 1911. And they attached to it is a one lane wooden roadway, uh, which traffic can move across slowly. Um, this is the only road connection to the uh, town of um, Gamboa. Uh, I pinned this area. Uh, there's an antenna and a clear, cleared area here. And before I leave this slide to look at the attachments, I wanted to mention that um, uh, this is what this bridge is crossing is the Chagres River. And, you know, at this point, they, in the construction and so forth, they widened and diverted the Chagres to make, you know, this part of it as, uh, you know, a navigatable part of the canal. Now, looking at the low resolution 1969 image, 
we're looking right here. And here you can see the Chagres River coming down. And uh, this is the part that, you know, is used as part of its canal navigation and it runs out here to Gatun Lake. And again, on our CC map fragment, the point I pinned is over here at this end of the bridge and the area where they have it marked tower. And this is a photo taken by Edwin Armbruster in the late 1960s, early 70s. This is the town of Gamboa. The pinned area is right in here, and there is the bridge. Another photo, this date is unknown. Uh, you can see the bridge going across here, and the area I pinned is over here. Next, we have the uh, Gamboa Prison. And uh, this was reported by David Martinez. And David noted uh, that, you know, he was particularly concerned about the area along the canal over in here. And um, this was uh, the canal zone penitentiary. Um, and it is located right on the canal, as you can see. And uh, it's still used as a prison today. Um, I will show you some attachments. Um, first, the low resolution uh, 1969 view, and it, we're talking right here. And on the CC map fragment, we're right over here. Okay, uh, this is another photo by Edwin Armbruster, taken in the same period, the uh, late 60s, early 70s. And the pin is in here. You can see, you know, there is an area here that's uh, being kept clear. Uh, appears to have uh, ship navigation markers up here for the pilot. This is uh, a photo from the National Archives of uh, the penitentiary taken in February 1950. The penitentiary is over here. The pinned area is in here and you can see, you know, this area was clear. I'm now going to move on to Madden Dam. Um, Man Dam also um, falls on the north side of the um, Continental Divide and it's also in the Pro uh, Cologne Providence. And it was built in 1935. And um, the, one of the primary reasons uh, I showed you uh, Chagres River coming down there through uh, Gamboa and turning. And uh, there, was, there was a problem with the Chagras in that they, uh, in rainy season or, you know, different times there'd be a flood stage and uh, it would come down and affect Gamboa and also the, uh, put a lot of pressure on the uh, navigatable part and also on Gatun Lake. So, uh, Part of the solution was to put in Madden Dam. Um, also, um, water from, uh, from the reservoir from Madden Dam is used uh, to generate uh, electrical power and also to supply Panama City with some fresh water. So we have one pin up here. And uh, this was uh, Andy Scheffler. And Andy said uh, he was particularly concerned about the area around the tourist observation area, which is this area up here. The dam itself is down here with the reservoir back here in the river. So if I pull out some, 
the um, chakras continues running down there. And if I pull out enough, <clears throat> we can find it down, running down here to Gamboa that we looked at earlier. Let me get back. Again, it's uh, <clears throat> the area itself is an area of uh, dense jungle. Looking at attachments on our 1969 uh, view, low resolution, we're looking right here at this point. And another photo from Edwin R. Brewster, uh, taken in the same uh, time period, late 1960s, early 70s. Uh, this is a photo of the, uh, uh, the observation area. I'd like to thank veteran Richard Wyman for putting together all of this information on possible places to test in the Panama Canal Zone. We are further than we have ever been before. We have a rulemaking request that's been granted by the VA Secretary. We have an HR 5026 bill for Panama introduced into the Congress.